On Tuesday, Gautam Adani-led Adani Group announced that it has acquired a 29% stake in NDTV and will soon launch an open offer to acquire another 26%. NDTV's owners have stated that it was done without their consent. While some call this acquisition an example of a hostile takeover, others disagree. Let us discuss what a hostile takeover is. A hostile takeover happens when a company or acquirer sets its eyes on another company or target and goes on to acquire it without the agreement of the board of directors of the target company. There are generally two ways in which a hostile takeover takes place. In the first one, the acquirer makes an offer to the target company's shareholders to bypass the management to get the required stake. This is called a tender offer. In the other, an acquirer may start a proxy fight to replace the target company's management. But why does a company initiate a hostile takeover? The reasons for a company to take over another company may be diverse. One reason may be that the acquirer considers the target company as undervalued and hopes to benefit from it in the long run. Another reason is that the acquirer wants to enter the sector in which the target company operates. Let us now look at some examples of a hostile takeover in the past. In 2010, Kraft Foods acquired the famous British brand Cadbury through a hostile takeover. In September 2009, the CEO of Kraft Foods, Irene Rosenfeld, announced her intentions to acquire Cadbury. It offered $16.3 billion for the deal. However, Cadbury's chair, Roger Carr, rejected the offer. Carr appointed a hostile takeover defense team. The UK government also opposed the offer and said the British company must get its due respect. In 2010, Kraft offered $19.6 billion for the deal and Cadbury finally relented. In March 2010, the takeover was finalized. In another attempt in 1993, textile tycoon Nusli Wadia took over Britannia as its chairman after a hostile takeover from Rajan Pillai. Pillai had held the stake in Britannia through Denon. Wadia made Denon switch sides and in total held a 38% stake in the company, taking over the control from Pillai. India Cement's acquisition of Rasi Cements in 1998, Imami's acquisition of Zandu in 2008, and LNT's acquisition of Mindtree Limited via Cafe Coffee Day are some other examples. Can the target company prevent a hostile takeover? Yes, the target company's management may employ certain strategies to stop the takeover. These include the Golden Parachute, the Pac-Man Defense, the Crown Jewel Defense, and the Poison Pill. In April 2022, Twitter initiated the Poison Pill strategy to prevent the hostile takeover of the company by Elon Musk. Under the strategy, the management puts a cap on the number of shares a person can buy. Then, additional shares are distributed among the shareholders, except the acquirer at a discounted rate. This dilutes the holdings of the new, hostile investor. It makes it difficult for the acquirer to go forward with the plan. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.